Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a Jovian planet, also known as a gas giant, using Space Graphics Toolkit. Let's begin by clicking Game Object, Space Graphics Toolkit, and then going to Jovian. This will add a new game object to our scene with the HDT Jovian component. Here you can see we need to set the main text, this should be a cube map. So if we click Browse, we can select the Jupiter texture. This texture comes from the Solar System Pack, which is available after you purchase Space Graphics Toolkit, and you can download it from the main forum thread or my website. And after we've done this, you can see we now have a normal sphere with a Jupiter texture on, but we want this to be volumetric, so we need to add a depth text. We don't have a depth text, so we need to generate one. To generate one, just click the Add Depth button there, and this will add the HTC Jovian depth component. Uh, so this component will just generate this texture for you. So if you have good settings, then you can click the gear icon here and you can click export texture and this will save it in your assets directory and then you can browse for it. If you do that, then it speeds up uh, scene loading time, which is very useful for mobile devices. But for this demo, we'll be showing you how to use this component to generate all the settings. So now that we've done that, let's select our main camera and let's move it closer to our Jupiter and let's add some mouse look controls. So let's add the HTT mouse look component and the HTT keyboard move component. And because this is a space demo, let's change the camera's clear flags to solid color and let's change blue to black. Now, if we hit play, we can fly into Jupiter, but you notice the edge is very solid it looks smooth from the outside, but it's very solid on the inside. This issue is because the clipping planes near value is set to the default value, which is 0.3. If we decrease this to 0.01, which is the lowest value, and then hit play, you'll see we have a completely seamless transition from space and into the gas giant. So let's say you want a smoother transition. You think that's too abrupt. So you can select the Jovian here and you can adjust the alpha density. Right now it's 50, which is the default value. If we decrease this to say 30 or 10, you can see the visuals changing there. So if I decrease it even more, you can see it becomes fainter and fainter. So if I hit play again and move into the gas giant, you can see it's very smooth, the transition from space and into the gas giant. You also notice there are other settings here, such as rim color. If I adjust the rim power here, uh, the opacity and, and the easing function here, you see that I can adjust how the edge color transitions. This is very useful because if you look at real life pictures of some gas giants, such as uh, Neptune, you'll notice that the edge slightly darkens into like a slight green so if you want something like that, then these settings are very useful for you. And also, if you want this to be lit, because right now, if I fly around, you'll notice Jupiter is lit from every single angle, even though our scene has a directional light. So the reason why this is, is because we haven't enabled the lit setting here. So if we check lit, you'll notice it gets very dark. That's because it's now receiving ambient lighting. The ambient lighting setting is in window lighting and you can change the uh, ambient source to color and this is the ambient lighting so if you want the dark side of your planet to be very dark then you can set this to be black or you can set it to be a different color depending on your scene so let's make it super black and because we enable lit you see we have a bunch of uh, errors here. First we need to set a light. You don't have to set a light, but usually you want to, so that's why it's marked as an error. So let's go ahead and drag and drop the directional light into the lights array. Now you'll see the Jovian is lit. And also the lighting text is marked as red. You can set one, but we didn't have one yet, so we will generate one. Similarly, with the depth, we will click the add lighting button. And this will add the SGT Jovian lighting component. And if we hit play, you'll see with default settings, the dark side of the Jovian 
is very black and this is the sunset transition so here you have the settings sunset start you can adjust where it starts where it ends you can adjust the easing function used for the transition and you can adjust which colors fade out faster than others to get the exact kind of fading effect you want so if you look at real life pictures of say saturn you will notice the sunset changes blue so for a planet like saturn you would want to do a fade slightly like this or something so i recommend you play around with all these settings uh, based on your scene and your media to get the exact effect you want and uh, thanks for watching that's the basics of how to make a gas giant in spacecraft toolkit